Prostate cancer is one of the most common diseases that afflicts men in the United States. In 2015, approximately 230,000 men will be diagnosed this year, and about 20 to 25,000 men will die of their disease. Prostate cancer is one of the diseases that typically is not associated with any symptoms. Men may present with urgency, frequency, getting up at night, and these are common symptoms of men that have an enlarged prostate and not necessarily prostate cancer. So how do we pick up prostate cancer? Well, typically prostate cancer is picked up through a digital rectal exam and a blood test called a prostatic specific antigen or PSA. The digital rectal examination is typically done by some healthcare provider, whether it's a physician assistant, surgeon, or just a family physician that will essentially feel the prostate for any lumps or bumps or any abnormalities associated with the texture of the prostate. Prostate cancer tends to develop on the outside of the prostate rather than the inside of the prostate and hence can be picked up with a digital rectal exam. But the digital rectal exam is not sensitive enough to pick up all cancers. So in 2015, we combined that test, the rectal exam, with a blood test called the prostatic specific antigen. This is a protein that's released from the prostate and can be elevated in men that have prostate cancer, uh, enlarged prostates, or even an infection in the prostate. It's a nonspecific test that we use to help us diagnose prostate cancer. So you might ask, what kind of symptoms will these men have? Well, typically they don't have any symptoms. They typically come in as part of their screening to get a rectal examination and a blood test, and indeed prostate cancer can be picked up in these individuals. We know a couple things about the etiology and epidemiology of prostate cancer. African-American men tend to have a higher incidence of prostate cancer compared to Caucasians. Not only is the incidence higher, but the disease is a little more deadlier in African-American men when compared to Caucasians. Death rates and the incidence of prostate cancer are higher in the African-American population. We know that there is a genetic predisposition to individuals that have prostate cancer. Yeah. In other words, if your father or your brother develops prostate cancer, it is much more common that you have a higher risk for developing a prostate cancer. And hence, the guidelines for screening for prostate cancer have been dictated around what that risk is for you. For example, the American Neurological Association does not recommend routine prostate cancer screening in men under the age of 40. Men from 41 to 54 need to have a discussion with their physicians. If they have risk factors such as a genetic predisposition, i.e. a brother or a father having prostate cancer, then prostate cancer screening is recommended. We know that the best benefit from the data that we have available today for prostate cancer screening is in those individuals from, of men from 55 to 64. That range of age group of patients undergo the best opportunity for prostate cancer screening. But the rectal exam and the PSA in 2015 clearly are the most effective ways of trying to pick up prostate cancer. In this field, a single decision can change a game. For a man with prostate cancer, a single decision can change his entire life. While I chose surgery, a less aggressive approach called active surveillance might be the best choice for you. Ask your doctor about a genomic test that may help you make the right decision. Learn more at yourprostateyourdecision.com.